Five Times Tony Denied Having a Kid by Katie the Book Nerd. Chapter 4, The Fourth Time, Midtown High. Peter was getting very sick of Flash's constant teasing. Yes, he was scrawny, poor and had a steady position on the decathlon team, but seriously, this was getting old. The bruise forming over his eye was starting to become a nasty shade of yellow and purple, thanks to Flash's fist. Luckily, he had a silver lining in his day, as he got to go to the compound today to work on some more suit upgrades with Mr Stark. Even though no one except Ned and possibly MJ believed him, it was still cool to be hanging out with and mentoring under Iron Man. He still couldn't believe it. He inwardly groaned when he thought about facing Mr Stark with the black eye, as it was bad enough that even his healing wouldn't hide it within the next hour. Unfortunately, Tony also knew the rate of his healing, so he wouldn't be able to pass it off as Spider-Man injury. Even though the man was smart and observant, Peter hoped he was good enough liar to play this off as being accidental. Doubtful? When he reached the compound after school, he realised that maybe he was lucky and Mr Stark had not yet noticed, or not mentioned, the bruise. They got into the lab and were halfway through an improvement to the web gliders when his mentor finally approached the subject. So, where did you get that nasty shiner? Tony asked him, not looking up from his project. I, you know, just tripped and hit my head on the side of the desk. No big deal, Peter told him, not very convincingly. Okay, sure. He paused for a second before putting down his tools and turning around to look at Peter while still leaning on the table. Who's the kid? Peter blushed and babbled out, What kid? Mr Stark, I don't have any idea what you're talking about. This was just an accident. Peter? Tony looked at him, unbelievingly. I am a genius, who was younger than everyone else in my grade, and had a famous father. You really think I didn't encounter my fair share of bullies when I was your age? Peter glanced down, ashamed. It's really nothing to worry about, Mr. Stark. I promise, I can handle it. Do you want to talk about it? Tony asked him uneasily. No, really, it's fine, Mr. Stark. I got it. Besides, I don't want you going in there and threatening a lawsuit or something. Peter joked, trying to lighten the mood. Tony grinned at him. Why would I ever do something like that? He took a brief pause. But seriously... If you want to talk, I promise I won't do anything crazy. Peter looked down at the ground before finally relenting. His name is Flash. Tony snorted, then quickly apologised. No, it's fine. His name is ridiculous. Anyway, he's just jealous I have a better spot on the decathlon team than him. It doesn't help that he's a huge fan of Spider-Man. And Ned told him that I knew Spider-Man through the internship I have with you which he also doesn't believe me about. We have so many of our classes together, including our free period. <sighs> so it's not like I can avoid him either. He sighed at the end before slumping down in his chair. Tony stood up uneasily, before putting a firm and awkward hand on Peter's shoulder, which still comforted the boy, nonetheless. I'm sorry, kid. I wish I could do something to help. But I understand that you don't want to make the situation worse. Peter smiled up at his mentor before replying, Thanks, Mr Stark. I appreciate that. And thanks for listening. Of course. And how many times have I told you to call me Tony? He smiled back before changing the subject to Peter's relief. Quick question. I know you are coming back to the compound over the weekend to finish up the last of the upgrades. So what class do you have last period on Friday? I think it's my free period. Why? Peter asked, confused. No reason. Just transportation logistics. Nothing to worry about. He gave him a reassuring smile. Peter rubbed his face before standing up and lightening the mood. Okay, so how about we carry on working on the suit? I want to make it fly! Peter... Tony was adamantly against that idea, much to Peter's disappointment. Eventually, Friday came. And Tony wandered upstairs after a long night in the lab. Hey, Hop, I'm picking up the kid again today. Tony called out. Okay, don't wreck the car again. 
At this point, Happy has stopped questioning Tony's sporadic desires to get Peter from school, and has just started rolling with the man's unpredictable nature. In this aspect, of course, Happy could never fully be okay with Tony's wild and inconsistent tendencies, to put it mildly. Tony pulled up to school, but instead of settling into the carpool line to, in front to pick up the kid as usual, he parked the car and wandered in. He turned left into the office to sign in. The hallways were empty, as most kids were still in class. So it wasn't until he made his way to the front desk that he was noticed. Oh my god! You're Tony Stark! The receptionist gaped. Yep, that's me. I'm an emergency contact for one of the students here. We would like to keep their identity anonymous. So if I could speak with the principal, that would be great. Oh, of course, sir. He's in a meeting right now. Can this wait ten minutes? If not, I can pull him out. No problem. She stuttered nervously. I can wait. There's no rush. He smiled reassuringly. Do you mind if I go find the kid? Feel free. They're in class. We would prefer for you not to pull them out until they're fully ready to go. But you can do as you see fit. Thank you. He nodded at her and followed the signs until he reached the sophomore locker hall. He was expecting Peter to be sitting somewhere working on homework. Maybe being taunted by that flash kid but definitely not to see the kid being pinned up against a locker by some five foot six lunatic. What are you gonna do about this, penis Parker? Is Spider-Man gonna come and help you out? He sneered. Hey, Peter. Ready to go? Tony called out, making his presence known. Hopefully without embarrassing Peter. I figured since you mentioned you had your free period at the end of the day, I could pick you up early and we could get some pizza or something before we had to fix off my hand repulsors on my suit. That sound good? He asked, walking over to pick up Peter's backpack. He strode right past the situation, acting as if he didn't even notice it to spare him some dignity. Flash's mouth dropped open and he pulled Peter away from the wall. What? Peter quickly shook away his shock too and walked over toward Tony, who was holding his backpack out to him. Thanks. Pizza sounds great. Do you think Steve will be stopping by again? Maybe bringing the rest? Flash was even more off-put that that was even possible. Steve? Like, the rest of them? Isn't the Avengers? Tony ignored him. Yeah, I think I will make an appearance. The second they were out of range from Flash, they both started cracking up again. That was priceless! Peter laughed. Are you sure? Tony asked nervously. I told you I wouldn't get involved. But I mean, I was pretty chill about it, don't you think? Peter smiled up at him before replying, You were perfect. Seriously, thank you. Of course. I love seeing little pricks humiliated. Tony replied with a grin. Then the receptionist from earlier rounded the corner, calling out to them, Mr. Stark! Peter! She walked towards them and then continued, I am so sorry. I saw what happened with Flash. I promise this will be dealt with accordingly. Tony gave her a smile and told her, I don't think it will be a problem anymore. I have to say, Mr. Stark, that was a very impressive thing you did for your son. Whoa, whoa! The metal hero started. Why does everyone think? Peter added, he isn't my kid. Tony finally managed to finish. Just my intern. I'm so sorry, Mr. Stark. I didn't mean to. I just assumed... She started to say before he cut her off. Don't worry about it. It seems to be a common misunderstanding. They passed the principal and managed to get all the way to the car while still keeping it together. As soon as they were buckled, however, they both started laughing all over again. He almost peed himself, I swear! Let's just say Flash didn't make very many comments the next week. End of chapter. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed that one. A very chill way of Tony dealing with the bullying. I approve of that. Anyway, you guys know the drill. Like, comment and subscribe and hit that bell to get notified for whenever I upload a new video. Have a good day, night or whatever time zone you're in. Bye my guys, gals and non-binary pals. I'll see you in another video. Take care.